lecture i'm going to discuss what how to delete all files and folder in or directory using csop.net so let's see the code so first here we need to write directory info okay so this is the class and this is all detail about the directory info after that or uh, here we need to create the object dir inf the next is creating the object with the help of a uh, new keyword and here directory info so this location you need to give the path so this uh, james path that i'm going to use copy this and this is the files folder that i'm going to delete okay so let's so uh, use here double bracket and paste the path after all uh, that we need to use here for each loop so for each loop and first uh, going to delete the files so this here a uh, file info that we need to use and here the object is now fl then after using here in and or thereafter we need to use here get the files now the next is or we need to use here fl call or delete method so you can use a uh, different method but this lecture about to delete the files so using here delete method after that here let's uh, write console class dot write line method so they are going to print files deleted files are deleted and the next is this is for files so if i here run this code so this will delete all the files here so now let's so uh, click on this uh, start debugging so here you can see or uh, the uh, this time so uh, here you can see file deleted so i think 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 maybe 12 times because or this place inside there 12 times so maybe files is there and now two folder or two directory is there so this so we need to or uh, delete that so let's use here for each loop and after that this place we need to use here directory info and object is now dir then after in and there you need to write here dir inf and get directory now then after the next is or dir call or delete method and or uh, delete method and after that the next is close by semicolon and the next is we need to print some masses masses so printing that's not necessary if you want then you can use that so there or uh, that's for folder so folder deleted now the next is if you run this code so file not present so it will uh, already deleted but uh, here you can see exception the directory is so uh, empty folder deleted so folder is so uh, deleted but uh, directory is the empty so that this exception is uh, coming here okay so the next is what i'm trying to do so here this one folder is still there so what i'm trying to do okay or uh, this is here files so let's so uh, copy this one all and pasting this location escape then or uh, this is the files and folder is there two folder and rest our files 
now if you run this code so there is files and folder already present there so here you can see all uh, now files deleted and deleted so th this exception is generating because here we need to make that true because after or deleting this is now become false so that or uh, here make that true now there is a folder inside there now let's run so folder deleted there is no any problems one folder is there so that's the deleted so make that true after that no exception that will generate so this time folder is empty now let's uh, paste this once again and two folders rest are files so this all that i'm going to delete once again let's start without debugging now you can see so files this and two times folder is there so this all deleted and no exception that's come here so make sure that or uh, fr dr delete must be true and uh, if you want to print to uh, uh, this message one at a times not many times so here let's uh, make that auto because uh, uh, if the files are five times then it loop continue five times if folder is two times loop continue two times so i don't want to print message so uh, multiple times so here let's so uh, write there out of the loop files and folder deleted so writing here files and folders deleted now the next is so uh, here so this is the code now since uh, uh, this is empty now let's uh, paste uh, something inside the folder so again copying and paste there so after that the next is run this code and now you can see files and folder deleted so all the files and folder that's uh, deleted from this directory so this is the easiest code to delete the files and folder so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you